What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today we're going to be checking out the reveal trailer for Call of Duty Vanguard. I'm pretty excited on Vanguard itself. The game plays wonderfully. I played a ton of the alpha. Wasn't able to get a video off for you guys but definitely going to have a couple of clip videos dropping on the channel very soon but i'm also going to be jumping into the beta i can't wait to try the beta you guys know my infamous beta rants and stuff like that that i usually go hard on with call of duty and this year is probably going to be no different especially after playing the alpha and feeling how it feels it feels very good but i'm pretty sure there's going to be stuff that needs to be worked on especially on the multiplayer side of things we played a little bit of it with champion hill but again we didn't really jump into the multiplayer maps today hopefully we get a full break breakdown of all of that and i can't wait it's gonna start shortly it says premiere will be shortly hopefully it starts and it, we get the timer like always oh, here we go and right on cue here's the timer all right five four three two one let's go wow violence blood suggested theme strong language let's go Turn this up a little. Uh-huh. Call of Duty Vanguard. Multiplayer the time is reveal. Here. Welcome to the multiplayer reveal for oh, Call of Duty Vanguard. Oh, that doesn't sound too clear. I'm Greg Reisdorf, the multiplayer creative director at Sledgehammer Games. Okay. At reveal, we saw the rise of Special Forces team, and now we've had our first technical test of Vanguard out in the wild, the Champion okay. Hill Alpha. Our team cool. is hyper focused on key data points coming out of that test, and thank you for all the valuable feedback. Okay. Today, we will show you our vision of the multiplayer experience for Call of Duty Vanguard. Yes. On our last project, we brought the Brotherhood of World War II soldiers to life in a more traditional approach, which was a okay. great experience. For Vanguard, we're taking liberties and risks to deliver something completely fresh, new, and fun. But first, Let's watch the world premiere of Call of Duty Vanguard. Let's go! World premiere! Yeah, the mic is terrible. Okay. Alright, let's go! Warriors. Okay. Who's this guy? Saboteurs! Assassins! Down, let's go! Each one with an axe to grind. And when we turn them loose, you better believe they're coming out swinging. Oh my god, okay. Oh, don't know. Oh god, not. Nah, don't start it with the war machine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice little SMG. Oh, that is fire. That is kind of fire. Got it. What is that? RC car? Mini tank RC car? <laughs> what the? What is that? Ooh. That's what it looks like. Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh. Are these like finishing moves mixed in? It looks like it. Like assassinations. Ah. Oh. Okay. I don't like that gun. Don't like that gun. Used it during the alpha. Is that the um no it's not that's the sniper. I was gonna say there's a gun in the alpha that was insane. Oh the stem shot, okay. We got a little Tommy gun. 20 maps, bro. That's insane. Is that Pog? <laughs> Next level customization. Yep. Global operators. Let's go, bro. Look insane, bro. Oh, come on. Stop it with the flamethrower. That's it? They had the Activision logo on it this time. <laughs> there we go. 
Show us gameplay, baby. Show us gameplay. Pre-order now and get early access to the open beta. Digital okay. pre-orders get instant access to the Night Raid, Mastercraft, and Black Ops, Cold War, and Warzone. Okay. Such amazing work that the team's been able to do. And Yo, his mic is terrible. Mile. Our multiplayer team is putting players in the shoes of a globally diverse cast. We focused on special forces operators oh, that are untraditional, that? gritty cool. anti-heroes from every front of the war. We've okay. also focused on our down-the-barrel experience to bring you brute force weaponry that devastates your enemies and world around you. Okay. Today, I have the pleasure of sitting down with some of my colleagues I haven't seen in over a year and some folks that I've never That's met good. before in real life. Our conversations today will be broken down into four different sections. We're going to talk about our day one offering for multiplayer. We're okay. going to go in-depth in the gameplay. We're going to talk to our art directors about Vanguard's unique look and take on World War II. We're going to talk to our narrative team. God damn, they're going to talk about a lot of people. And we have Jesus some special Christ. guests from Beanox and Raven. Plus, following the stream, we've invited some of your favorite creators to play Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer. So stick around. We're just getting started. Okay. So we're going to be here for a while. Day one content and well, let's beyond. Let's some multiplayer. Sounds good. So we have 20 total maps in the 20, game. 20, that's a lot. 16 of them that are working with core, and they're across all locations, and they're, they're okay. Western Front, Eastern Front, North Africa, yep. as well as the Pacific. And then the okay. four maps that comprise Champion Hill, which is Airstrip, Market, Courtyard, oh, and Oh, okay, they're counting those, okay. We have found this fresh approach to World War II. We really, really wanted this time to focus on a global warfare and variety of settings. And when you think about I like that they're doing too, that. Let's say you finish a match on Gavutu and you just came from the Pacific Theater. And then the next map that loads up is Desert Siege. And now you're in North Africa. So you're just hopping all over the globe. So we just finished up Alpha. That's cool. That was the first like technical that. test of Vanguard. And starting today, you can preload for the beta which has Champion Hill that everybody mm -hmm. can now experience, as well as four new maps. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm I super excited about. I can't wait to try it's the maps. It's for the first time, so it's Red Star, Hotel Royale, Gavutu, and Eagle's Nest. I cannot wait to see all of those players in there. And then we also have combat pacing. So you can now experience this huge range from tactical combat all the way up to blitz combat across all the modes that are Let's in go. beta. It's such a different experience between when you're playing with Blitz and tactical as well, yeah. because when you're playing Blitz, it's just no holds barred. You're going. What's Blitz? Tactical is a lower player count, so we're actually increasing the time to engagement in there, and every shot matters. You were able to play with it in the filter system, so within quick match play, you're able to oh, be like, okay. oh, I prefer tactical. I'm gonna be doing Blitz. I remember when we were just first talking about it, the idea of making every map into shipment. I love that. <laughs> no. But having a, a map the size of Red Star feel like shipment, if you're having that, that level well. of combat yeah. pacing, is, is what's really fun, because it's crazy. it's different huh. map by map. It's so much fun to just go in, and you're not even worried when you're getting Make killed, every map you just feel killed, like shipment. What? Constantly, it's, it's, it's amazing. We also have patrol coming in as well. It's a new mode for Vanguard. It's really fun. I'm really excited to see how fans respond. Patrol? I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. It's essentially Explained. the moving oh, okay. hard point that's moving around the map on this track. You're going and you're taking it. And as people play it more and more and discover new strategies around oh, okay. it, like there's moving the hard patrol point. point. Hold it down for your team. But that patrol point is moving no matter how many people from your team are on it. So yeah. if you're truly you know, playing as a team, you're going to have people behind the patrol point, in front of it, really locking down those cool. lanes. That mode I like is that. bringing so much more than we've ever had. And you're also exploring the entire map. I like that. I like that. That's cool. They should bring that to um, with other old, players older games in these maps, being able to go into you know, clans. They're coming into the game. They're okay. a tier one feature. You can pair up with your buddies and your friends. We really want to lean into social play because it does make all of your experiences and those clans and everything just okay. so much better. Think about what you just said about patrol too. Like if you played patrol with your clan, how You're much more effective be you so would be if oh, yeah, everybody absolutely. was coordinated, taking the patrol point at the same time. Yeah, and you right. actually progress with your clan. Like that's a new thing that we have in the game. It's pretty exciting and awesome. Like. 
being able to plan to progression plan and go and and be on progression and you can be in a clan together cross gen as well that's right okay so that's cool. a huge commitment to our players around cross gen cross platform play where you can go and team up with really anybody who has the game it's exciting for me because now I can finally play with my cousin in Toronto who's a PC player and I'm going to play on my PS4 at home. I really loved it as well because okay. we invested quite a lot in our social features. He doesn't have a really PS5. The scope of the social <laughs> if you have a friend who's playing Call of Funny. Duty, you don't have to now ask them, oh, what are you playing on? Right. You can just be like, join my clan. We're so excited That's to cool. have Call of Duty Vanguard launch. The team has done a phenomenal job. I can't thank them enough for all of the effort they've put in. The most content day one it's gonna be great. Okay. S sounds good. Let's go. I'm glad that they're keeping this like three minute. We're here to talk about gameplay. So you know, reactive environment, movement, footsteps, create a class, weapons. It's all okay. about creating a fun environment for the players to run around in. And when we were thinking about it as a team, that that feeling of pulling the trigger has to be awesome. Oh. And you need to be able to use it then fuck. for gameplay as well. Ooh, it's all tight. about that player creativity. When you first shoot something and it reacts to it, mm -hmm. now you start becoming a little more creative about what you want to do with that. Tactical sprint is in the game. We have it okay. coming back. And you can just sprint through those walls as well. We tried to give multiple options for how you can't want to do things. Can't wait, so really bro. A lot of I can't wait. That's right. When you're taking cover behind something, you they can out. also flush you out. You start seeing this stuff just start getting shredded. You can mount on top of these surfaces as That's well. That's cool. I love sliding into cover and either mounting on the side, mounting on the top, blind firing over the top. Oh, so oh. blind fire, like let's just blind talk fire. about that for a second because blind yes. fire is an all new addition to Vanguard. It's kind of the hip fire of mount. We actually have it set up where you can ADS and go into mount. So when you're near something, you're gonna go into mount every time you do that. But if you're in cover behind it, your gun's gonna come what? up, and now you're actually in this state where you you know you can blind fire over it. You get a little peek over the piece of cover that you're on, and you're now able to move back and forth across that fire. You get the hip fire spread, and then once you see somebody coming, That's you can insane. actually go right back into mount and transition between the two, and it's it's so fluid. It just feels like it was always supposed to be there. I, I'm, I'm destructible environment. I'm kind of the game. It's on I, I need to and try it. Just it. Changes the map. I don't. I didn't like the, the hip the, fire the when I played that. The map um, starts alpha. at is going to look different than the state that it ends at. Everything really changes, especially in different game modes when you have Dom right. and Hardpoint. Oh my god! And even with this idea of combat pacing around those structures, like we have tactical combat pacing, where now destruction just matters so much more. Yeah. And there's a lower player count, and it's so much more intimate. And then you go into something like Blitz, which is just crazy amounts of players in there, and those maps completely change based on how that combat pacing Yeah, everybody, I can, I can see everybody going running through everything. Those modes even. We have a caliber system as well, which interacts with these destructive environments. And so you're able to now go caliber up or caliber down within each weapon. The heavier the caliber, oh my God, the more bro. it's going to change the, the look of the walls. It's not just oh. visual either. Increasing the caliber does increase the damage the bullet does. So we're kind of yeah. moving away from this concept of protecting rate of fire and damage. We're letting the players control it. We have created Jesus class in the game, Christ. and we're building on what was done in Modern Warfare 2019. You got your primary weapon, secondary weapon, three yeah. perks, yep. lethals, and tacticals. Okay. It's about choices and about the player having choices within create a class. There's so much going on in there. We have the gunsmith system coming back. Oh we have my God! There's systems, so much ammo types what? and attachments as well that you can put on the gun. Ten attachments. The coolest thing about 10 attachments is that we were able to make it so that some of the attachments are much stronger than the other attachments. Okay. We have a lot more options, kind of taking our 30-ish our guns and bringing it all the way up to over 100 because you can tailor them to whatever you want them to be. Okay. And then it's still familiar with the perks, the three perk slots, and you can actually modify those and get some modifications around some of the other core gameplay pieces. 10 and attachments, with these weapons bro. and with this caliber system, there's so How much that's gonna in play into Warzone? You have certain perks that are dedicated to it. Yeah, you might choose an LMG and then try to combine perks for close range to make it so much more like an SMG, but with that power and the ammo size that mm. the LMGs are bringing. Or you might go the completely other way. 
lean into our new mounted movement system Ooh. so you can slide around the cover. You might equip it with piercing vision as one of your perks. Your perk piercing vision. Oh my like god! Walls that you've suppressed. Suppression Jeez. is a new mechanic that slows people down. And with suppression? that, that is going to give what? us the most tactical experience you've ever had in Call of Duty. Yeah, we're trying a lot of risky Bro. things, allowing players to tune things like damage and rate of fire, but we're committed to figuring out the right values there, making a balanced game. We Thank really you. want to push the envelope, and we really want to bring Make players it balanced, a version please. of Call of Duty, a flavor of it that they haven't tried before. It is truly the most immersive Call of Duty experience I've ever played, and we're in this together. We're in it with the community, we're there getting feedback from them on all of these elements, and it and we want to make it the best for everyone. I hope it. Let's hope. Oof. Art direction, next gen tech. Look, even this guy that's talking doesn't have a, a, a PS5. Like, <laughs> next gen tech. On this project, I feel like the collaboration between. Oh, he left. And design and he art left. Made a lot more <laughs> cohesion. And so we've grown together in such a way where we can have these great conversations. It's about stepping out of our comfort zone exactly. a little bit. On the last project, we took on the Brotherhood of the Soldiers. It was a very traditional look at it. This game in Vanguard, it's a fresh look. We wanted something fresh, and we wanted to get into that anti-hero. Oh, go ahead. This time around, we, we kind of dug deeper, and we tried to understand what the soldiers were going through. And it changes the way that they walk. It changes the way that they talk, even the way they would dress and how they would stand. It had to be okay. somebody that was real and somebody that we felt that, like, I want to be that person. I want to play that person. I kind of see him. myself in that person. I think that Show that was Show more too, right? of like, the multiplayer. So Stop. Character? When I saw Daniel Yatsu, I, I thought to myself, hey, you know what? I want to be that character because that character kind of feels like me, you know? And I think that's huge. I just Starting love with the ponytail. that game we're taking a character-centric approach. You actually have a roster. Yeah, you and get to I, learn more about them. Yeah, it makes me want to play every character. And they all have different looks mm -hmm. as well that have their personalities in them. The character team has done a lot yeah, of great work. they look cool. To recreate, you know, all the materials and things like that. I mean, they dress the mannequin as the exact character, they scan it there, and then they virtualize the authentic gear in. The same thing happens within the maps as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we even have some maps that are actual spaces in the world. Uh-huh. OK. We typically start with I a, see a block more mesh of a map and try to figure out how we can get photogrammetry assets to match that block mesh. We tried it the other way around on this one. And that would really capture the spatial relationships of the buildings and the road and, and the hedges. You know, it, it feels like a real place. It also helps with the tone because when something feels more realistic, you take it more seriously. Yeah. You know, and yeah. when you want to be immersed, you don't want to be pulled out by something that feels artificial. Okay. And there's so many. My other son was hitting nobody. Like we've done a lot with foliage that's in our Pacific maps. Just speaking of simple things like foliage the way that the light hits the leaves and then like bleeds and then shines through makes it feel more realistic. We've been using some new software techniques okay. to generate simulations for really windy situations mm -hmm. where the palm We're not trees be are able to colliding with each other it. and it really makes oh, okay. the map have this energy to it. All of those atmospherics, like the Battle of Berlin, Gavutu, like these maps have so much weather going on and it's been exceptional to see it in the game. Neo-Epic Lens is, is something we're looking at game-wide. We want to add that new, fresh, badass on top of the Epic setting. Okay. And that's something that you've developed. Yeah, w with the art team, we talked about what's the thing that's going to set us apart from the previous game that we made together. And so we talked a lot about the contemporary lens. And that's where the whole Neo aspect comes. Neo Noir, it's a new evolved version of film noir movies. So okay. Epic is its own type of movie. We wanted to take cues from the great epics of the past and add a Neo rebirth to it. A lot okay. of that has to do with composition of the landscape, 
the types of environments that we pick to play in, the palette, the color, a lot of it has to do with the tone. Ooh. The art team has done an amazing job. I'm liking it, I like it. The entire team as a whole has done an amazing job making this look great. With all yeah, the it looks, it looks fine. Do, Even though this is not, the rendering, you know, 4K, this video live streaming right lighting, now, but it, it looks good. Team, we needed studio in Melbourne to get it looking super awesome in a way that we can deliver the, the, the best COD game we can do. Okay. Yeah. I want to see some new, like, We have a cast footage, of characters. Footage, footage. Those characters also come over into multiplayer. We took yes. the personalities from our campaign and brought them to the wild, exaggerated, crazy world of MPs. Sweet revenge. We have 12 operators at launch, six in the beta, all from different Ooh. walks of life. Yes. What is bringing those characters together in campaign? Captain Butcher, who's a returning character from Call of Duty World War II, he's back. He's got a much larger role. Okay. Now. We needed a character when we went to the special forces. So the he's back from the first. Who, like, I gotta go back and play. And oh, found World all these people now. to give birth to this new type of warfare, and he puts them together and he sends them into these incredibly dangerous situations. Sometimes you need a job done. That's when you call the professionals. Okay. So these special operation task forces that we have, the SOTFs, what are these? That's the whole notion of, of multiplayer is that this is Butcher forming these teams. You know, they do feel like okay. ragtag people pulled from all over the world to form these awesome squads of elite soldiers. So when you unlock okay. one of these operators, you get that moment to learn more about their backstory. Melinda, do you have a favorite one of those? I do. My favorite is for Solange, who is a Dutch woman. And she okay. was plucked from her everyday life and put into the war, and she did strategy. And I think what's interesting is with our characters, we also not only touch on people who fought on the front lines, we touch on people that fought at home. Oh, okay. Or were taken and not primed for war. They were just normal people that wanted to live normal lives, and then the war happened and everything changed. Okay. You can't change your past. You can. You can choose how it molds you. Most of the time in, in multiplayer, you're, you're selecting the character, you're in the game, you're in the action running around. We have a couple that are just like absolutely crazy, don't we? I think Paulina's really sinister, Paulina. actually, and you get more of a look Ooh. into her character. Yes. It almost That's makes cool. you like, afraid of her. It's about immersion, about putting players in there. And these stories are just fantastic. We wanted to champion a lot of the forgotten stories of the war, and a lot of them are female-led stories. There are a lot of women that had a part in the war, whether on the home fronts or on the battlefield. Let's go. Let's go. We created so much lore around them and their backstory and who they were as people. And also we wanted them to feel like distinct pieces on their own. As you're, you're randomly assigned an operator when you when you start the game, or you can now use that operator as much as you want. And then they have operator progression, okay. which is a brand new thing where operator as you're leveling first. that operator, you're getting cosmetic rewards. They have charms that are based on their okay. backstory, new cool animations that we use in the game, operation moves and everything else that really Whoa, immerse you in that experience. I'm just thinking of that. That's insane. Progression based on the you operator don't have as well. In multiplayer. It's team A versus team B. It is a very deliberate decision, but it's one that we found was for the best of the game. It it allows players to be able to customize their character and how they want to play. You know, once okay. you made that call, it was really yeah. important to then I think really that's cool. dig deep into find all those different characters because it was a global war and people were fighting their own battles in their own countries. I do think though there's a lot of opportunities for people to learn about new perspectives and new angles on things that happened during that time period. So we have a lot of diversity in our characters, not just in their race, but in their appearance, their gender, and all of that is explored more in MP. They're all fictional characters mm -hmm. grounded in a World War II, but they are based on real people and real groups that did fight in the war. Another thing cool. with campaign is the character you're playing as. We don't want them to talk too much mm -hmm. to sort of allow the player to live the fantasy. So in multiplayer, okay. we get to actually make them talk and you can hear them talk more. Didn't think I'd come back, did you? <laughs> that brings me back to life. That's you cool. Coming. It's multiplayer, it's still a game, but there's so much history there. There's so much depth and richness and you've been able to bring all of this together into this story that is quite amazing. Okay. 
the PC experience? What is this? Hey everyone, my name is Mark Alexandre Milo, the UI UX director at Dinax. Oh, and okay. Today I'm here the bad mic is back. The lead PC developer for Call of Duty. Okay. And we are very excited to bring you Call of Duty Vanguard. Pinox has put together a dedicated and passionate team to push the quality of the PC version each and every year. Okay. We want the game to be tailored for our PC community by supporting both the latest hardware technology and also optimizing for the best performance. With Call of Duty yeah. Vanguard, you will get the greatest features and improvement that we have built over the years, such as the uncapped frame rate, the ultra wide and the multi monitor support, and okay. also a lot of settings to fully customize your experience throughout the game. And about Ooh. customization, we wanted our game to be even more accessible. We added option to reduce motion sickness, improve text readability, and okay. we even added adaptive ease of use settings to fit your gameplay style. We've also done a ton okay. of work to improve input latency by using a high speed camera combined with an Arduino board and an NVIDIA LDAT. It's a device okay. that measures input to photon latency. We were able to identify opportunities to improve reaction time in terms of milliseconds. We have okay. also reworked our auto-detect features. As you may know, we optimize all the graphics settings based on your hardware. But this oh, time, okay. you get to choose if you prefer to have the awesome visual experience or aim for the highest frame rates. Lastly, okay. while waiting for your friends to jump into your party or during a round transition, we added a setting that reduces the brightness of your other monitors to allow multitasking without okay. missing any of the action. We have so okay. much more to talk about in the upcoming months, and we it's can't from PC wait players. for you to experience cool, Call of Duty Vanguard on Battle.net. Now, I'll pass it to Raven to give you the latest intel on what's coming to Warzone this year. Yes! Let's go, Warzone! Next I'm chapter, MSL, Warzone. Associate Creative Director at Raven Software. With the launch of Vanguard, we want to ensure that the feel and character of the game extends beyond the multiplayer experience and into Call of Duty Warzone. Okay. I'm pleased to announce that there's a brand new Warzone map coming yes. this year shortly after the launch of Vanguard. Let's go! The Pacific, featuring oh. an entirely new play space, complete with what? points of interest. Players will get oh, to traverse the lush landscapes of the island and make their way through a variety of extremely cool locations while battling oh. it out alongside friends and foes. Our goal was to create a fresh, new experience for Call of Duty players. Let's go! By bringing out of the war-torn world of Verdansk to create an atmosphere that is vibrant, out of Verdansk? and really opens the doors to how we can craft the narratives and events. As far as visuals and technology, Warzone Pacific will share the same tech and engine as Call of Duty Vanguard. Okay. This allows for seamless weapon integration and play balance, fully optimized okay. crossplay, cross progression, progression. and cross gen cross support, support will be enabled okay. so that you can play with your friends across different platforms and generations of consoles. Okay. But most importantly, we want to ensure that Warzone Pacific will be the best experience it can be. We will okay. be launching with a multifaceted new anti-cheat system. Of we course. Out with the new experience goes live later this year. Oh, okay. We're putting it through the final <laughs> and, and are excited to have it ready day one when the new Warzone experience releases. Our teams have worked hard on this and much cool. more, and will continue to do so. We know how much it means to everyone. We will be continuing to offer a massive calendar of free post-launch content featuring new modes. New playlists, walls, new playlists, new time, time events, and oh seasonal events, God, yes, as well as community celebrations and much more. We look forward to playing with all of you later this year when the Pacific officially comes online. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We sincerely appreciate you watching, but there's so much more for our fans to experience from the beta through launch. The beta will be running over the next two weekends, and you can preload on PlayStation starting today. Let's For go. your first look at live gameplay from Call of Duty Vanguard Core Multiplayer, tune in now to one of your favorite creators from the entire development team around the world. Ooh, Thank you so much for let's joining go. us today. We can't wait to see you in the game. I can't wait to play. Let's go. This is a great showing. This was a great show. Oh, look, let's go. More. The beta begins. First on PlayStation. Pre-order and get early access. Champion Hill. Patrol. Kill confirmed. Domination. Team Deathmatch. November 5th. Couldn't come any quicker. I'm super 
happy for the day. I gotta get that. I gotta do the pre-order. What is this? Tune in and watch and see your favorite streamers. Go and playing starting now. I can't. I can't wait to tune in to see some streamers. However, we got to talk about what we've seen today. It looked pretty good. It looked pretty good. It didn't look terrible. I'm glad that they um was up front with us and showed us um was about to jump into. So I'm glad that they showed a ton of gameplay. They showed and explained everything. So that's pretty good. They also showed Warzone. To me, that is actually the seller and like the 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 dopest thing they could have did today because it answers a lot of our questions going into what warzone is going to be like day one for vanguard and as you can see we're going to get a new map hopefully everything does feel good and uh, you you if you play warzone you know what i mean by feel good I, the, the guns aren't broken hopefully there isn't like a weird bug where something is like broken in the game hopefully if there is stuff like that hopefully they can tackle it and get it fixed very quickly i am looking forward to the launch of vanguard obviously for the campaign for the multiplayer and for that warzone content update i can't wait let me know what you think about this whole reveal trailer i'm not going to stay long right here in the comment section below let's chat about it as you guys know in trailer reaction review i usually review trailers However, this was a little bit different. I am on the plus side. Um, I'm not going to give this one a score. Obviously, it was like a more than 15 minutes. We more than 30 minutes of a reaction here. So I just want to keep the review part of it short. But I'm definitely going to do a bigger review of the Vanguard beta once it actually gets into my hands. So obviously, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Call of Duty, Fortnite, Pokemon, Mario, whatever I feel like dropping the vibes on. I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family. Ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos. As well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one